Do you know Bailu Village? Yeah. How can I get to Bailu Village? I don't know the way there. Okay. If you ask my dad, he might know. Your father. Does your father know how to get there? Yeah, my dad knows everything. Where's your father? He's selling fish over there. I helped him to catch them, you know. Right there? Yeah, it's that blue shop. Okay, then I'll ask him. Yeah, buy some fish, too. Excuse me. Hmm? Is this the right path to Bailu Village? That's right. I see. I'd like to ask you a question. Have you ever been to Bailu Village? Yes, a number of times, a long time ago. How long ago? When I was young, I was a traveling medicine peddler. But now that I'm this age, I can't get over the mountains. Is Bailu Village really that deep in the mountains? Yes, you have to climb over a number of mountains. Some of the cliffs on the way will make you dizzy. And there are thick forests that cloud the distinction between left and right. Is that so? How long does it take to get to Bailu Village? Oh, I wouldn't know. If you can keep from getting lost, It'll take two days. Two days. But it could take your entire life. My entire life? Just kidding. But do watch for wolves. Yes, I understand. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Um... Can I ask you something? Is this the right way to Bailu Village? Um... Excuse me, which way is Bailu Village? Uh -huh. Is this the way to Bailu Village? No, I can't eat anymore. What? Oh, oh well. Excuse me. Hmm. What's wrong? Does this path go to Bailu Village? Follow this path. All the way up. This is the only path we have in this area. How long does it take to get to Bailu Village? If you don't get lost, you can get there in two days. Just take your time. I see. Excuse me. What is it? 
Is this the way to Balu Village? Yes. Take this path over a great distance. That's all there is to it. How far is it to Bailu Village? There's still a long ways left. Just take your time. I see. Excuse me. What is it? Is this the way to Bailu Village? Yeah. It passes over the mountains and leads to Bailu Village. This is the only path that leads to that village. Is Bailu Village far? As far as I've heard, it takes a full two days. But of course, I'm not really sure. I see. I'd better hurry.
Hey, are you all right? The little deer. Where is the deer? Oh, good. I'm so glad. You saved us. Are you okay? Thank you. Why did you jump in? I just had to. I had to save it. Huh? The white deer is my village's guardian. A guardian? A white deer. White. Bye. Dear Lu. By Lu Village. My home. By Lu Village. Where is this village? It's up along this river. Is it far? I can show you. I'm Shinhua. What's your name? Yo. Hazuki. Yo. Follow me. Where did you come from? I... You're not from here, are you? No. I came from Japan. Japan? Where's that? It's an island country, east of China. In the east? Japan is pretty small compared to China. Is it far from here? Well, actually it's kind of far. A faraway country to the east. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Shenfa. What is it, Yo? What kind of place is Bailu Village? It's a small village in the mountains. Is it far from here? Yes. We have to cross two mountains. Really? Two mountains? Have you lived in Bailu Village all your life? Yes. Ever since I was small. Your family as well? Yes, my father and I. The two of us have always lived in Bailu Village. I see. Shenfa. Yes? Can you tell me more about Bailu Village? Let's see. My grandfather told me that it's one of the oldest villages in Guilin. An old village? Yes. It's been around since the Tang Dynasty. Since the Tang Dynasty? It's been said that some nobles who were expelled from the city by the Emperor built the village to live in hiding. Really? Shenfa. Yes? How many people live in Bailu Village? About 50 people. 50 people? Yes. The villagers are all nice people. I'm sure they will be nice to you too. It sounds like a nice village. Yes. There are inconveniences since the village is surrounded by mountains. But the villagers live off the gifts from the mountains. The mountain's blessings. Further ahead, as we near the village, the paths are going to get more rocky? Yes. We'll be going over the mountain now. So tell me if you're tired. Let's go slowly. Shenfa. Yes? Can you tell me more about the village? More? Let me see. There are various legends told in Bailu Village. There are legends? Yes, there are many, since the village has existed for hundreds of years. Like what? Well... <laughs> what kind of stories did they tell where you grew up? Where I grew up? Well... Tell me. Okay. There is a shrine near my house called Yamanose Shrine. What is a shrine? 
It looks similar to the temples in China. Ah, it's where the gods live. You make wishes at the shrine. Did your wish come true? I'm not sure. It didn't come true. I never really wished for anything seriously, though. Oh. Shenfa. Yes. What kind of stories are there in Bailu Village? There are so many stories that have been told. That thing about the white deer being the guardian, is that one of the stories? Yes. How does that story go? Long ago, the village suffered from drought, and then there was a forest fire. When the village was surrounded by flames, a white deer appeared. A white deer? That white deer led the villagers to the spring in the mountains. To the spring? The villagers were able to escape from the forest fire because of that. That's why it's the village's guardian. From then on, the white deer appeared occasionally, saving the villagers from many other dangers. An interesting story. All the villagers believe it, and I do too. What's this tree? A fragrant olive tree. They are in bloom up ahead too. Oh. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. During this season, all the trees are in full bloom. Fragrant olives. Yes. In China, we call these trees gui. And there are so many here, like woods. Or lean. So Guilin means the woods of fragrant olives. Really? A lot of them are in bloom. Yes, it's as though the whole mountain is wrapped by the flowers. Let's move on, Yo. Okay. Shenfa. Yes? No matter how far we go, the paths look all the same. It's like this everywhere around here. Did you ever get lost? When I was small I did, but if you get lost, just take the animal trails. The animal trails? The path that the animals in the mountains walk. If you follow one, it'll always lead to water. How do you find one? You look for animal footprints. Footprints? You know so much about animals. I've played in the forest since I was a child. You learned it naturally. No, my father taught me most of the things I know. Your father? Yes, about the forest and the mountains and the animals. He taught me about the sky, the stars, and many other things. I see. Shenfa. Yes? What does your father do? He's a stone cutter in Bailu village. I see. He finds various stones in the mountain stone pits and creates beautiful works from stone. When we get to our village, I want to show you some things my father created. I'd like that. Good. What about your father? My father. My father taught me a lot of things. Just like me and my father. Yeah. What did your father teach you? Father. Father. Yo, what's wrong? Did I say something wrong? No. I was just remembering something. By the way, aren't we near Bailu Village yet? We go over this mountain, and we'll have to go even further. I see. We still have a long way to go. Shenfa. Yes? How far does this forest go? All the way to the village. Oh. The scenery looks all the same to me. People not from here think the exact same thing. It's amazing how you don't get lost. How do you recognize the paths? I'll know the direction if I see the sun's position. And there are signs here and there on the paths. Signs? On these mountain paths? 
Yes, there are some ahead of here. Strangely shaped trees and stones and the drinking water places. Oh, you use the rocks and trees as landmarks. I've been using the signs all the way till now. Didn't you notice? No, I didn't notice. I'll show you what the signs are. One of them is just up ahead. Okay. So many butterflies. They're beautiful. Don't they look like flowers? Flowers. Hey, yeah, they do look like flowers. When I was small, I once saw a lot of butterflies all fly away at once. I started crying because I really thought that all the flowers had flown away. Why are there so many here? Why? There aren't any flowers around here. This is the place where the butterflies come to drink water. To drink? Yes, after the rainfall they come here to take in the drops on the leaves. You see them often after a rainfall. I see. Shenfa. Yes? Do you like flowers, Shenfa? Yes, I love them. How about you? Flowers. I had a friend whose family ran a florist. Your friend in Japan? Yeah. What is a florist? A shop that sells flowers. Sell flowers? Yeah, that's right. That's strange. Flowers can be found everywhere. Well, that's true. Does your friend go pick flowers in the mountains and sell them? No, Nozomi. The person's name is Nozomi? Yeah. Who was this person? Nozomi. We were childhood friends. A childhood friend? We lived near each other and went to the same school. Were you too close? Uh, yeah, I guess. What's the matter, Yo? We were close. I see. The wind has shifted. Let's go through the forest before it gets dark. Yo, can you run? Y yeah Shenfa! path ends here. Let's go over this cliff. We're going to climb this? Yes. 
It's slippery. Watch your step. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's hurry. It's this way. Yeah. Watch your step. Did you get hurt? I'm fine. Here's a spring. Yes. Travelers and animals all quench their thirst here. Fireflies. At a place like this, with a clear spring, there are fireflies. They're beautiful. Yes. It's like being surrounded by stars. It's my first time seeing so many fireflies. Aren't there fireflies in Japan? When I was a child I saw some. But there are only a few of them now. Wait, Yo. Huh? You should be careful when they are shining low near the shrubs. Snake eyes shine very much like fireflies. Snake eyes? If you put your hand out carelessly, you'll get bitten. I didn't know that. The spring here means we're almost at the end of the forest. Really? Yes, but it's getting dark. We must hurry on our way. Yes, let's move on. Watch your step.
The sun has gone down. The cave is near. Let's find it quickly. Okay. This is some cliff. Yes. It's one of the most dangerous areas around here. Do you always walk through here? Yes, but I don't walk here at night. When it gets dark, I can't see very well. Also, the animals start moving around looking for water. I see. It's getting pretty dark. We have to find the cave quickly. Soon, the moon is going to hide behind the clouds. It'll be difficult to find once it gets dark. Is it near here? Yes. Travelers use it to take shelter from the rain. I think it was along the cliffside. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's wait for the sunrise here. Yeah. Let's kindle a fire. Uh -huh. The night is cold in the mountains. Our clothes are wet. We'll freeze. We've got to find some firewood to make a fire. Uh. Looks like someone has made a fire. There was someone here. Someone who passed by here must have spent the night. We can still use this. But this won't be enough to last till morning. We'll need to gather more wood. Yeah. I'll go look outside. Yo. The twigs outside are still wet from the rain. We can't burn them. Then what? Look. There are some twigs. Perhaps we could find more further inside. All right. I'll go find them. You can watch the fire. Yes.
There should be more. I should go back. Firewood. I should go and put these down before I gather more. Yeah, there seems to be more. I'll go gather them. Yes. This won't be enough. I should look for more. I should go back. We have enough firewood. Good. Thank you. Come by the fire to get warm, yo. Yeah. How do you usually spend your time in the village? I plant vegetables in the field and feed the goats. Do you go to school? We don't have one in the village. Anything I need to know I learn from my father and the villagers. How old are you? Sixteen. Two years younger than me. Do you go to school? I used to. Is school fun? Yeah, I had friends in school. We used to have a lot of fun. It would have been better if we didn't have exams. School? Sounds like fun. What were your friends like? There was Nozomi. Nozomi? Who is that? I have a picture. Are all Japanese women so beautiful? I'm not sure. She looks so gentle. I gave her so much trouble. Did something happen? She was kidnapped by a bunch of rough men back home. And what happened? I saved her. That was good. But she experienced such fear. Where is she now? In Canada. Canada? A country far away. Do you wish to see her? I have things to get done. I have to go through that first. Really? What other friends did you have? There was Tom. Tom? He's from the States. He's a real funny guy. 
Did he go to school too? No, he sold hot dogs in town. Hot dogs? It's a foreign food. He also loved to dance. He was always singing. He sounds like a fun person. Yeah, he taught me a special move before I left. Where is he now? He went back home to the States. I think he's doing fine. Oh, what other friends did you have? There was Guizan. Who is that? We met each other because of a particular incident. He's a stubborn guy and very proud. He respected his father with all his heart. Where is he now? He got hurt when he was trying to save me in Japan. He got hurt because of me. I don't think he has any regrets. Hmm. Who would regret risking their life for a friend in danger? My father says that's what a Chinese loyal friend is supposed to do. A loyal friend. His skills in Chinese martial arts are really something. If I ever get the chance, I'd like to spar with him again. I'm sure you'll see him again. Yeah. What other friends did you have? I remember... Oh yeah, there was Goro. Goro? Yeah, I met him at the harbor. When I first met him, he was bullying and taking money from people. What do you mean by bullying? He was threatening people to get money. He sounds like a bad person. Inside, he's a nice guy. He doesn't do those things anymore. He's eager to please. In what ways? He changes his attitude towards certain things real quickly. He started calling me bro out of nowhere. What a funny person. Goro. He found a job for me at the harbor. A job carrying crates. Ah, there's a job like that in the village. This person owns many cows and... No, I carry them using a machine. Machine? Oh, you've experienced a lot of things. What kind of food do you usually eat, Shenfa? I... You must be hungry. We walked a lot. Tomorrow, when we get home, I'll prepare a big meal for you. I'm not that great of a cook, though. A big meal. Can't wait. How about rabbit? A rabbit? I've never tried it. Do you eat it all the time? Yes. Don't you eat rabbit in Japan? No. We eat beef or... But cows help cultivate the fields. How do you get your meat? We catch them in the mountains. The mountains. Sounds like a lot of work. Sometimes my father catches them. Rabbits, pheasants, and turtle doves. What's wrong? I never thought about it that way. All I've had to do was buy the meat or the vegetables. What we catch are gifts from the mountains. The meat satisfies our hunger, and the fur protects us from the cold. Everything is a gift from the mountains. I guess that's what living in the mountains is all about. Yes. Do you always walk these paths alone? Yes. Did you come to China alone? Yeah. I went to Hong Kong to meet a master named Li Xiaotao. Hong Kong? Were you able to meet this person? Yeah. Who was this person? A master of Baji style. A master? I have a picture of Master Tao. Let me see it. The person dressed in blue. She's so beautiful. She's the master? Yeah. She taught me some moves. If I had never met her, I would have been... My father said people meet because of destiny. Destiny? Yes. You didn't meet her by accident. Destiny had guided you to meet her. Destiny.
It's getting late. I think you should get some sleep. Yes. It'll be a fine day tomorrow. Hmm. I know because the wind shifted. You can tell just because of that? During this season, when the west wind blows, it'll be a fine day. Really? It's late now. Go ahead and get some sleep. I'll watch the fire. Thank you. Sorry, did I wake you up? No, I got some sleep. Dai Chi, did you learn that from your father too? No, I learned this in Hong Kong, but I mostly learned from watching. Breathe in the power from the earth and collect it in the center of the abdomen. There is much power in the trees, water, stones, and everything. Power in everything? Yes. I always gain power from the forest. From the forest? What was that? Wolves. Wolves. Are they nearby? Yes, there are many wolves. The name Lang Huishan means Wolf's Mountain. I heard that wolves are nocturnal. Yes, sometimes groups of them attack people at night. People? Aren't you scared? We'll be fine if we have the fire burning. They would never come near a fire. Oh, that's why we built a fire at the entrance. We better keep the fire going then. I'll watch the fire now. You should rest a little, Joel. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. 
I'm sorry. Did I wake you? No. What was that song? It's an old song of the village. Of Bailu village? Yes. There are many old songs in the village. What was the meaning of that song? It's a song about the landscape of Guilin. The mountains of Guilin glisten after the rain. Clear water flows into the spring, which flows into the river of Ying Shui Chuen. Ying Shui Chuen? It's the river where you saved me. Ah. In the summer, there are fireflies by the riverside. So the name Ying Shui Chuen means river of fireflies. Yes. I'll watch the fire now, Shenfa. Thank you. It's lovely weather. Just like he said. Let's go. It's this way. Yo, look. All the mountains here have such strange shapes. But aren't they beautiful? Yeah. They are called Shan Qing. Shan Chen? Yes, it means a mountain with a pure, beautiful shape. I see. Shenfa. Yes? It looks like we're going down the mountain. Are we getting near the village? Yes, that's right. I see. So once we get through this path, it looks like we'll be there. Yes, after we go over another mountain. Oh, the mountains continue. Are you tired now? No, I'm fine. Good. Have you gotten used to the mountain paths yet? Yeah, I'm getting pretty used to walking here. I'm glad, but it is more difficult to go downhill than uphill. Watch your step. I will. Some places are still muddy from the rain last night. Yeah, I'll be careful. Shenfa. Yes? You know... About the wind? Huh? The wind? Yeah, right? Oh. Yes, I can tell the weather from the changes in the wind's direction and its humidity. Then, what you said yesterday in the forest? I felt the humid wind from the west. It was a sign that the rain clouds were approaching. You can tell all that? I can tell not only from the wind, but from watching the clouds. The clouds? Yes, the faint clouds like fog in the sky bring rain. The small line clouds are a sign of clear weather. Really? The clouds? If you observe the sky carefully, you could tell the weather too. I could? Yes. There are many signs in the sky. 
Observe carefully. I agree. What's wrong, Nyo? Uh, nothing. Bailu village is this way. Let's hurry on. Yeah. Shenfa. Yes? It's nothing. Shenfa. Yes? It's been a long time since I walked on mountain paths like this one. Oh? What kind of mountains are there where you grew up? Mountains. In Japan, there's a beautiful mountain called Mount Fuji. Japan, your country. Yeah. It must be very far. It's beyond the sea. The sea. I'd like to see it. You have never seen the sea before? Never. Have you ever been outside Guilin? Not even once. Did you ever wish to go out? I never thought of it. The flowers and animals keep me company when I go to the forest. They talk to me. Hmm? The flowers and the animals? Yes. How? I can't explain, but those who live in the same forest can understand each other. You understand each other? Yes. A landslide. We can't get past here. It's probably because of the rain last night. Is there another path we can take? I don't know. Wait, I recall my father mentioning another path. Another path? There was a path that broke off on our way here. Oh, that one. Perhaps that path could be... Yeah, let's go see. Yes. Is this the path? It might be. Although I'm not too sure. In any case, we don't have a choice. Let's go, Shenfa. A river. Yo. I think we can get across there. Yeah. 
Watch out for the stones with moss. You might slip. But the river is shallow here. No. The river flow can be more powerful than it seems. If you slip, you could sprain your ankle. All right, I'll be careful. I'll go first. Yo, this way. Let's move on before it gets too dark. Right. Hmm. Bai Lu Village. Yo, we were right about taking this path. Yeah. We can move on. Yes. Good. Let's go. A river again. Yo, let's cross there. Yeah. When you step on the stones, maintain your balance by stepping out gently. Same as the leg steps of jujitsu. What's jujitsu? A Japanese martial art. I learned it from my father. Slide your feet as a bird would glide on water's surface. I was taught that. But you've acquired that skill naturally. You must have martial arts on your mind all the time. No, not really. I'll go first. Yo, please be careful. Are you okay? Yeah. Yo, please be careful. Are you okay? Yeah. Yo, please be careful. Good, you got across safely. Yeah. Let's go, the village is still further ahead. All right. Wrong. We can't go further. Then let's take a different path. All right.
guardians. Hmm. What's the matter? We're back on the original path. Really? Yes. The guardians are the sign. The landslide we saw was this way. Silent village is this way. Really? From here on, it's the path that I usually take. Good. Now you can follow me. All right. You can lead the way. That's a relief. Shenfa. Yes, Yo. You always take this path, right? Yes. Is anything going to be done with that landslide over there? I will let my father know as soon as we get home. You can't leave it like that. All the villagers will fix the path together. Really? That'll be a lot of work. But it happens once every few years. It couldn't be helped. And it's not all that bad. What do you mean? The villagers cooperate and fix the path. It is hard work, but once the paths are finished, everyone is happy. Oh, so the ties between the villagers become stronger. Yes. When they get back to the village, the grown-ups all drink and celebrate, singing songs. Everyone looks forward to that. That's why they get together and work. I get it. Shenfa. Yes? Where do you usually go when you take this path? I go to the docks of Langhuishan Mountain. Why do you go to the docks? I go there to buy things that I can't get in the village. Like what? Iron is precious in the village. For pots and knives. And also for the tools my father uses for work. Iron. He takes good care of his tools. But when they are broken, he can't get them fixed in the village. Really? What else? I also buy medicines that are only sold in town. Oh, medicines. The villagers usually use herbal medicine. But for emergencies, we need the kind sold in town. Right. Medicine is precious. Yes. The boats bring a lot, but medicines are expensive, so I can't buy that much. I see. The path branches off. Young, hmm. we'll be taking a detour, but ahead there's a field full of beautiful flowers. Flowers? Yes. Do you want to see them? Sure. Why not, since we're here? Yes, this way. Follow me. Shenfa. Yes? When you go into the mountains, what do you do for drinking water? If you're walking around here, there's no need to worry about water. There are rivers and lots of places where the water flows into springs. Oh, you can drink from the river? Yes, you can. Oh, when we reach my house, you can drink from the well. The water from the well? Everyone in the village lives off the water from the well. The river is where we fish and where the children play. Did you used to play in the river too? When I was a child, I played with the boys. I kept it a secret from my father. What did you do? We caught fish. And we raced to the other bank. You were a pretty active kid. Yes. Look, yo. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, they are beautiful. The last time I came here, the flowers were still in bud, but now they've all bloomed. Really? Let's move on. There will be more flowers ahead. Yeah. Shenfa. Yes? How long does it take to get to Bailu Village from here? 
This area is the halfway point between the village and the cave. All right, you can lead the way from here. Yes, you'll be fine if you follow me. I know the way. All right. Shenfa. Yes? There are so many Koza blossoms here. Yes. In this area, everywhere you look, you'll see Koza blossoms. You have them in your country as well? Yeah. I'm surprised that there are so many. When I was small, whenever I saw a field of blossoms, I used to pick them and bring them home. Really? We ate them. You would eat them? I see. And we would collect oil from the seeds. There was a place near my house where many of these bloomed. Really? I like colza blossoms, but I like the evening chrysanthemums the best. Do you know about them? The evening chrysanthemum? What kind of flower is that? They are smaller than the evening primroses and bloom in unnoticeable areas. Not that many people know about them, but they are my favorite. Evening chrysanthemums. If I see one, I'll let you know. All right. Shenfa. Yes? Flowers. I haven't looked at flowers like this for a long time. Which flower do you like? I don't know much about flowers. Oh. But my father liked lilies. Your father? Yeah, I remember. Nozomi brought some for my father one day. Are you talking about Nozomi again? No, I'm talking about my father. Oh, you're right. You were talking about the lilies that your father liked. Whenever I see lilies, they remind me of my father. Everyone has a flower that reminds them of something. Yeah. What's wrong, Nyo? A strangely shaped tree. A spider tree. A spider? That's what the villagers call it. The branches look like spider legs. Now that you mention it, they do. Whenever I'm walking back to the village, I feel relieved when I see this tree. Huh? We're halfway to Bailu village from here. This tree marks the halfway point. I see. Now come on, the village is this way. Shenfa. What is it, Yo? We've come a long way. Are you tired? I'm fine. I'm used to walking here. Oh, that's right. Are you all right? Do you want to take a rest? No, I'm fine. Let's hurry on our way. You don't have to be in such a hurry now. This path is... The path that you're familiar with? Yes. Up ahead there is a clear spring. If you're tired, we can take a rest there. A spring. Good idea. Let's go there. All right. Shenfa. Yes? What sort of animals live here? There are many kinds of animals. Yesterday you told me that there are wolves. There are wolves and bears in these mountains. Wolves and bears. Aren't you scared of them? I'm not scared. Nothing dangerous happens. The bears won't attack people. I see. But if you see a cub, you have to get away from it quickly. Cubs? Yes. The mother bear would fight, risking its own life to protect her child. Risking her own life to protect her child. But bears hardly ever attack people. It's a kind-hearted animal. I see. Shenfa. Yes? Are there other animals besides wolves and bears? Rabbits and foxes and raccoons. Foxes and raccoons. What kind of animals were there where you grew up? Okay.
There was a cat. Did you own it? No. It was a stray cat living in the neighborhood. The mother had died, and it was all alone. I see. But the kids in the neighborhood took care of it. It grew to be a healthy cat. Is the cat well taken care of in Japan? Yeah, probably. Probably. Last time I saw it was when I was leaving for Hong Kong. Oh. I'm sure the cat's doing fine. Yes, I'm sure it is. Shenfa. Yes. We've been walking for a long time, but there's no one passing by. No, hardly anyone visits the village. And hardly any villagers venture from the village. I guess when you're surrounded by these mountains. <laughs> hmm. What is it? Everyone will be curious when they see you in the village. Yeah, I imagine so. The children will be really happy. It will be their first time to see a foreigner. Children. Yo. Hmm. It would be nice if you could talk to the children. Tell them about Japan. And the sea. Yeah, I hope I have the time to do that. Yes. I mean, I will if I can. Yes, please. The path branches off again. Yo, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, the path is branching off again. I told you, you'll be fine if you leave it all to me. This way. Yeah, that's right. Shenfa. Yes. Isn't it dangerous to walk in the mountains alone? There's nothing dangerous here. I just stay put when there's no moon or when it rains heavily. And if you don't surprise the animals, they won't attack you. Really? If you know about the mountains and the forest, you'll realize that people are just another creature in the mountains. There's nothing to fear. People are also creatures in the mountains. But yo. Hmm. Watch out for the snakes. They are poisonous ones. Poisonous snakes? Yes. If the snake's head is triangle-shaped, it's poisonous. It slithers on the ground. So you can't notice it even if it's near you. All right, I'll remember that. It would be terrible if you got bitten. Yeah, I'll be careful. Are there lots of poisonous snakes? I see them sometimes, but the poison of the snakes around here isn't too strong. Even if you're bitten, if we take care of it quickly, you'll be fine. I see. Feel better? Yeah, a little. A spring. The water's color. This spring is called Five Color Spring. Five Color Spring. From noon till evening, the water's color changes five times. That's why it has that name. A mysterious spring. The color will change soon. Look, Yo. does this happen? How? I never thought of the spring as strange. Really? That's her young, yo. Yeah. Landslide again. We have to take a different path. I'm sorry, Yo. Huh? After I told you to leave it to me to lead you the way. Don't worry about it. Let's get back to that branching path. Yes. Yeah.
We have no choice but to go this way. You're right. All right. I'll go first from here. Yes, you can lead the way. These are herbs. Herbs? For my father. Your father? I'm sorry. I kept you waiting. Let's go. Strange landscape. The rocks are like bridges, and many are connected. There are many places with similar terrain in Guilin. But I was surprised too when I first saw this. The scenery looks artificial. True. But it's the wind and water that created the shapes over a long time. Really? It's narrow. But I think we can cross it. Yes, but watch your step. Okay. We could die if we fall. If we cross it slowly, we won't fall. Let's go. Okay, I'll go first. Virgin's here. Jump carefully. We can make it. Oh. Yo, jump! Um, okay. <sighs> now let's go. 
go. The path continues. Good. Hmm. Bai Lu Village. Yo, let's move on. Yeah. It's this way, right? Yes. Good. Let's go. It's a dead end. Let's look for another path. Let's do that. What is this? That is a stone lion. The stone lion? It is an ancient Chinese sign placed on the roads that branch off. Road sign? Then... We're back on the usual path. I'm familiar with this path. Really? The village is not far from here now. Let's go. Follow me. Yeah. Shenfa. Yes? What does your house look like? My house? Like any other ordinary house in the village. An ordinary house in Baili village. I can't imagine what it looks like. They're wooden pillars and walls made from dirt. Walls made from dirt? There are houses made from stone in the village too. We can get various kinds of stones near the village. There are rare beautiful stones and strong ones too, used to build houses. There are no houses in Japan made from stone. Oh. What do you mean by rare beautiful stones? You can only find them in Guilin, specifically near Bailu village. They used to be treasured by the emperors and nobles in the city. Emperors and nobles? No. Hmm. What are Japanese houses made of? Um. My house was made from wood. Most of the old houses are made from wood. Only wood? No. The roofs are tiled, and the windows and doors have glass. Glass? We don't have that in the village. Really? Once broken, it can't be fixed. No one uses it for houses. Oh. What's wrong, Shenfa? The two paths. Which way was it? Are we lost? No, we'll be fine. Either path will take us to the village. It's just that... What? One of them will be a detour. The paths look so much alike, I can't tell which one... All right. I'll decide on which path to take. Yes, please do. Let's go this way. Yes. Shenfa. Yes? I saw that stone lion in Hong Kong too. The stone lion king is a talisman found everywhere in China. A talisman? We pray for safe journeys. So that's why it's sitting by the path? Yes. Especially on the points where the paths branch off. Where the paths branch off? I was taught when I was a child that it protects the village from evil spirits. 
I remember now. I saw them at the entrances of the towns in Hong Kong. That's not a surprise. Also, we pray to it when a child gets sick. A child? Yes. As a child, when I had a fever, the old lady in the village prayed for me. They have them in your village as well? We place them in the village where the roads cross, or some houses have them carved in the walls. I guess they're everywhere. Yes. Shenfa. Yes? Let's hurry on. Yes. Yo, the village is this way. Yeah. Shenfa. Yes? How do the villagers live? Most people cultivate the field. Water buffalo. There are horses too, for people to ride on. Can you ride a horse? I can, but I'm not too good at it. Really? When I was small, I wanted to run around freely like the boy. I always wished I could do that. Aren't the girls allowed to ride horses? I wasn't really allowed to. I never rode on a horse before. I heard that the people in town ride in cars. Do you ride cars? Yeah, I got rides. Really? But we don't need them in Bailu Village. You think so? Cars can't get through these mountain paths. I'm sure the horses and cows can get you there faster. Yeah, I guess you're right. Shenfa. Yes? I wonder what Bailu Village looks like. A quiet, small village surrounded by the mountains, but... But? There are old buildings and castle walls there. They were built long ago. Castle walls? Yes. They were built by the nobles from the city. An old lady in the village told me. Who were the nobles? They served the emperor. They had treasures and rare items. So naturally, there were many thieves. Ah, that's why they built the walls. There is a poem in the village left by the nobles. How does the poem go? Green trees of Gui. Create a forest to the south of the lake. The river is a blue sash of silk. The hills are hairpins of jade. What does it mean? The deep forests of Gui are south of the lake. The waters of the Lijiang are like blue silk. The mountains are like hairpins made from jewels. The landscape of Guilin. Yes, I like this poem. Even with my eyes closed, I can see the landscape of Guilin. Really? Sound. It sounds like a waterfall. I hear it from the path on the left. Is there a waterfall? No. I don't think there was one nearby. Then what is that sound? I don't know. Do you want to go find out? Yeah. Why not? Yes. water back in the river. Huh? Look! This river has been dry for months. Really? We heard this waterfall. 
But why did the water start running all of a sudden? Last night's rain. The rain made the waterfall, and it's now flowing into the river. That rain made this waterfall? Yes. Whenever it rains hard, small waterfalls are made here and there. Really? The river runs into the Lijiang. The village is up the river. Let's go. Yes. Shenfa. Yes? Are you tired, Chinfa? I'm fine. But? Are you tired? You're not used to these mountain paths. This is nothing compared to martial arts training. Oh, good. I used to learn martial arts from my father, ever since I was little. You like the martial arts, don't you? Well, now I'm not too sure about it. Oh? You do it even when it's not fun? That's what martial arts is about. That's just how it is. Oh. Well, now I'm not too sure about that. Yes? Maybe, now that I think back, I was having fun. Yes, you do like the martial arts, right? Yeah. That's because it was fun. If it's not fun, you can't like it. You might be right. Chenfa. Yes? You said your father was sick? He sometimes has a heavy cough. You must be worried. During the night, or when it's humid, he would cough a lot. I would rub his back, and he would feel a little better. Are the herbal medicines working? Yes, he takes them every day after meals. That's why he can work every day. But sometimes... I see. Is there a hospital in the village? No. A doctor visits the village sometimes. Really? That must be inconvenient. I hope your father gets better. Yes. It isn't all that serious, so he'll be fine. I bring him herbs. I see. out of the forest soon. Yeah. It won't take long now. Let's move on. Joe, we're almost there. I see. Shenfa, is Bailu village near now? We have to go a little further to reach the place where the villagers live. Really? But my house is right there. It's on that small hill. Please come in for a while. But I need to go to Bailu village. You saved my life. I want to thank you. Um... Please rest for a bit. Please? Oh, all right. Good. Follow me. You'll see my house soon. Shenfa. Follow me. My house is right ahead. Just a bit further. I see. What's this tree? Shenmu. Huh? A tree called Shenmu. Shenmu? Every year, at this time of the season, its flowers bloom. Really? This tree... holds a special meaning for me.
The Shinmu tree has its flowers in bloom again this year. Shenfa, a beautiful flower. I know. We will name our child Shenfa. Shenfa, that is wonderful. The Shenmu tree shall protect her. The flower of the Shenmu tree is called Shenfa. That's... Yes, that's my name. There was a tree at home that bloomed during the springtime. At your house? They were called cherry blossoms. Their petals were pale pink. Cherry blossom. Does that tree hold a special meaning for you too? Yes. Let's go. It's this way. What's the matter, Shenfa? When I was a child, I used to play on that swing. Every year when the Shenmu's flowers bloomed. Is this house located in Bailu village? Yes. We are at the edge of the village. Really? That tree. The Shenmu tree. Yeah, it's a really big tree. Yes, it's a very old tree too. The tree was already that tall when my grandfather was a child. I see. The tree has been alive for thousands of years. Thousands of years. Shenmu. What's the matter, Nyo? Maybe it's only my imagination. Yes? But I think I feel something. You feel something? The tree isn't just old and big. I don't know how to say this. It seems like it has a spirit. Really? Do you feel that way too? Well, yeah. I felt the same way ever since I was small. You too? When I was a child, I used to play under the tree. And I felt like I was being held by the Shenmu tree. Although I was alone. 
I didn't feel lonely at all. I think I understand. Yes. It feels like, even as we sit here, that tree is watching and protecting us. It seems like I've known that tree from a long time ago. It's a strange feeling. Shenfa, you said you were living with your father. Yes. I only have a father. I don't have a mother. What about you? When I was really small, my mother was already. And your father? My father is gone now. I'm sorry. I. It's all right. What's your father like? He's a stubborn but warm-hearted man. Stubborn but warm-hearted. Bio, while you're still sleeping in bed, farmers are working hard in the fields, carefully picking carrots one by one. So how can you waste them like that? Okay, I'll eat them. What's wrong? Nothing. There's something I'd like to tell you. Hmm. I was told my real father had died. Died? Yes, together with my mother. Really? But I don't remember anything about my real parents. I don't even know how they died. Your present father? He took my parents' place and raised me as if I were his real child. Of course, I accept him as my real father. He's my only family now. I see. But when I was small, I used to give him a difficult time. Hmm. I threw tantrums. I told him that I wanted a mother, brothers and sisters too. Brothers and sisters. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I don't have any brothers or sisters, but there was this person called Fukusan. We used to practice with each other. Practice? We were learning martial arts from my father. He was strict to both of us. We were always sweaty from practice. We used to fight a lot too, just like real brothers. Really? He helped me in many ways so that I could go to Hong Kong. You're lucky. Hmm. I envy you for having a person like that close to you. Although we weren't real brothers, he's a part of my family and he's important to me. Yes. It will be dark soon. You should stay for the night. Is that all right? Yes. I want to help you in return for saving me. I'm going to get dinner ready. Please wait. Why don't you rest while I make dinner? Yes, thank you. The meal should be ready soon. I should go to the kitchen. An interesting sculpture. The mountains of Guilin made from stalactite. Stalactite? From a cave nearby? It was brought from the stone pit. Father likes to look at stones. Stones? He says he hears their voices, although I don't know what he means. Voices from the stone.
Yo, have a seat. Thanks. This was the best I could do. Looks really good. Help yourself to seconds. What's this meat? Rabbit. Huh? I set a trap in the mountain. Oh, really? Tasty, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. Make yourself at home. You can use any space in this house. Thank you. Father has a small collection of things. Take a look, if you like. Yeah, I will. A flute. My father made it. He made it from a Shenmue branch when I was a baby. From a Shenmue branch? I always stopped crying whenever I heard its sound. My father told me. It was like a lullaby. Yes. This painting? Somewhere in Guilin. Really? I heard these mountains are scary. Scary? Those who set foot in these mountains have never returned. It's an old tale. Why? I don't know. But no one goes near these mountains today. This is embroidered? My father has had that tapestry for a long time. Where is this place? Luoyang. Luoyang. An old city that flourished during the Tang Dynasty. The sunset colors the whole city beautifully. Have you ever been there? No, but for some reason it gives me a nostalgic feeling. Nostalgic feeling? I see it when I close my eyes, the landscape of the city, and the people bustling by. Luoyang. This is... What's wrong? It's the same. What is this drawing? My father told me this has been in our family since long, long ago. But he wouldn't tell me anything else about it. Yo, what is this mirror? I heard that it was given to my father. To your father? This phantom riverstone can only be found in Bailu village. Phantom Riverstone? How did this mirror get to Japan? 
I don't know. My father might know something. Where is your father now? He's at the stone pit, gathering Phantom River stone. Where's the stone pit? Over on the other side of the mountain. He said he was going to finish something. It's been days since he left for the stone pit. Can you take me? All right. Shinfa. Yo, good morning. Good morning. I'm preparing lunch right now. Can you wait a while? Thank you for waiting. Let's go see my father. Yeah. It's this way. Follow me. All right. Shenfa. Yes? What's the stone pit like? It's inside a cave. A cave? When you go inside the cave, there's a hall. I always bring lunch there. There's a larger hall further inside the cave. Further inside? Yes, but my father doesn't let me go there. I don't really know what that place is like. But I heard it's a stone pit for Phantom Riverstone. Phantom Riverstone? Yes, the same stone as your mirror. Yo, can I ask you something? What is it? It's about that phoenix mirror. Yeah. On the diagram in my father's room, there was a design of a dragon as well. Yeah, my father had another mirror with a dragon on it. What happened to the mirror of the dragon? It was stolen by the man who killed my father, Lan Di. Killed? Oh, that's right. Your father was killed because of the mirror. Huh? Because of the mirror? A village legend says the ancient emperor had mirrors made from Phantom Riverstone. But the rulers fought for the mirror, trying to get its hidden power. And some even lost their lives because of it. I didn't know there was such a legend. I'm getting scared. Shenfa. I hope nothing evil happens. Whatever the case, we should go ask your father. Let's hurry to the stone pit. Yes. Here is the pass. Do you always come here? Yes. Uh? What is it? It's different. What is? There isn't a single bird. Huh? The migratory birds come here to rest. Usually the birds are here and they chat with each other. But why aren't they here today? Did something happen? I don't know, but... Shenfa? I sense something isn't right. Yo, let's hurry on our way. Right, let's go.
here. Take this. It's dark inside. Huh. The stone pit is further inside. Follow me. Yeah. Shenfa. The stone pit is further inside. My father always works there. Let's go further inside. All right. here when I call him. I'll go check the back. here. Where can he be? Well, there's a door beyond here. Further? This way. Shenfa, where's your father? My father is working in the back. All right, let's go. Yes, follow me, Yo. This is it. The door's open. It's always been locked. What's beyond this door? I don't know. Father never let me inside. Maybe he's in here. Let's go. This place. place like this in the cave. Yo. Hmm. Look. There's a path. Let's go take a look.
Shinta. Father's writing. Huh. Dear Shinfa, my work is done. The phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of destiny, destiny has come. Shinfa, go with the one who holds the phoenix and find the proof. Yield yourself to the one. And go together. I shall give you the family treasure, the sword of seven stars. Think of the sword as a part of me and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. The sword of seven stars. The one who holds the phoenix, find the proof? What is the proof? I don't know, but there should be some clue here. Shenfa, let's look for it. The same design as the one on the sword. No. That's it. Let's go. Yes. Shenfa, what is that? I've never seen that before. Let's go and see. Yeah, let's go.
phoenix and dragon. The same as the mirrors. My father was carving... From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him, the strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out, and we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten alone. What is that poem? It has been told in the village from long ago. Thank you. 